All right, we are tracking the chance for potentially some strong thunderstorms as we hit throughout this afternoon. We're already seeing a couple of those pop up for us here on our Viper 40 dual Doppler radar this morning. Shower activity during the overnight hours for areas to our north. And now we're seeing those thunderstorms start to kind of develop as we head to the southeast of Tulsa. Right now we're tracking one that's just now exiting the state of Oklahoma going into portions of Arkansas. Uh, it was a pretty hefty thunderstorm impacting Tahlequah region uh, earlier on this morning now just some heavy rainfall as we head into uh, Westville toward Barron Sanders and up toward Cincinnati now going throughout this afternoon we are going to continue to see that threat for severe weather in the southeastern portion of the state but that doesn't mean we can't see that here uh, near uh, the I-40 region as well heading toward Fort Smith McAllister Ada community uh, all can see the potential for those severe storms for today this is the storm outlook for all of the southeastern portion of the United States we're seeing a potential for severe weather outbreak in portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, as well as portions of eastern Texas, uh, Waco, Dallas, all going to be included in this. So definitely a day to stay weather aware if you are in the southeast. Like I said, Tulsa not going to be affected by this so much here in the metro. These storms are going to see that higher level of instability in the southeastern portion of the state. Now, as we head toward, again, Muskogee, Stigler, the Tahlequah area, we do see that chance for severe storms start to develop a little bit more as we head into later this afternoon into this evening, especially toward Fort Smith and Poto. Again, the further southeast we go into the state, the higher level of instability that's going to be set up for today. Now, as we go ahead and take a look at our conditions outside right now here in Tulsa, 57 degrees, uh, go out and get that morning walk in while you can before we start seeing that rainfall throughout the area. Winds out of the east at 11 miles per hour. Current temperatures, upper 50s throughout the majority of northeastern Oklahoma, McAllister at 59 degrees. High is going to be rising into those upper 60s and lower 70s throughout the area for today. As we head throughout the week, we're looking at 70s throughout every single afternoon. And so today is going to be our coolest day this week. And then we are going to see those spring like temperatures closer to average for this time of year as we head throughout this work week. Tomorrow, we are going to see improving conditions heading into the afternoon, mostly sunny and 75 for your Monday. We are going to be tracking another round of showers and storms Tuesday night going into your Wednesday as another system moves through northeastern Oklahoma. So stay where they're aware as we head throughout the middle of this week as well. Just up.